Hi, welcome to the webinar. My name is Aaron and today I'll be giving you a brief introduction to Mercury. This is the Mercury login screen for Mercury Desktop. Enter your connective ID, which will be a number starting with CA, the password, your password, and then click the login button. This is what you see when you first log into Mercury. We call this the Mercury dashboard. This first pane is a business summary. What we've done is we've put together six commonly run reports in the business statistics. You can select each of the six from this drop down. And as you click through, you'll see the graph will change. At the moment, we're looking at leads, all put in in the last 60 days and their current status. You can mouse over the graph to get to more information. The second graph is a settlements graph. So this will show you your month by month settlements at a glance. The connective learning link will take you to our e-learning site You'll need this if you're a Connective Credit Rep or if you're required to do any other tests for Connective membership. The Connective Home Loans portal is available by clicking on this second link. The third one down is the Apply Online portal. You can log into Apply Online straight from the dashboard simply by clicking on that tile. Brokerpedia is the fourth link. This is a very well resourced knowledge base for all things broker related. Then there are a number of other links down here taking you to various other important tools. The recent opportunities list down here shows you the last 20 opportunities which you opened in your database. So what this does is when you open an opportunity, it simply sticks that most recently opened one on top. For example, I'm going to click on this John purchase opportunity. Once it opens, I'll save back out of it refresh that list and what we'll see is that loan is this John Purchase will appear on top of the list. Click refresh and you can see John Purchase is now on top. Everything else has moved down. This tasks pane will show you all tasks which are delegated to you and are due today or up to 12 days into the past. Any tasks due tomorrow or further into the future will not show any tasks more than 12 days overdue will also not show. So that is basically a window where you can see what you have to do today. Then the calendar pane will show you all calendar appointments in your calendar for today and up to five days into the future. Along the top of this screen here, you'll see our number of quick start buttons, add an opportunity, person task, and then one for each of the three calculators. I'm just gonna jump into the admin tab for one moment. In the admin tab, there are some important things in here as well. The Mercury Help Desk, the Contact Us. This will open up a window showing you all contact numbers for connective staff members as well as addresses. And the Remote Assist button. If you do require assistance with Mercury and one of the Mercury Help Desk staff give you a call, they may need to remote into your computer in order to assist you. If that does happen, they will direct you to click on this link, run the software called Team Viewer, and they will give you uh, guidance from there. If you've just transferred to Mercury from a, uh, a new, uh, different aggregator, you may wish to. If you've just started your connected membership and you need to apply for some accreditations from lenders, go to the services tab. Down here on the left hand side, you'll see accreditations. Select the relevant lender. Select whether the accreditation is new or a transfer and click on Get Lender Form. What will happen there is you'll either be asked to submit or you may be asked to put in a couple more details before you submit. Once that happens, you will receive an email within the next couple of hours with further instructions and usually with a, a form that you will need to complete. Also here under the Services tab is our central repository for all the information we hold on each individual lender. So if I click on ANZ, here are the contacts for ANZ. The jurisdiction is currently set to Victoria. If I change that to New South Wales, it's gonna change all of the contacts here to those for New South Wales brokers. All the documents we hold are here under the documents. So you'll see uh, personal loan sheets, dis distribution loan, application seat covers, break free app form, and so on. All news is available from news.connective.com.au. So if you want to keep up with all lender current lender updates, go to news.connected.com.au. That is updated daily. All the ANZ products or all the products for the particular lender can be found here under this mini product search. Three year, click on run and you'll see a list of products. What you can do here is you can then double click on one of the products to bring up the product card where there's a lot more information. 
The commission schedule for each individual lender is held under commission schedule as, lo as well as any notes that you may need. The My Lender tab allows you to maintain your login details for your lender here. Security types shows you all the different security types and lender policy on each one. And the income policy as well shows you all the different income types and the lender policy on income types. Again, vital information. So what we'll do now is we'll jump into the CRM and I'll very quickly show you how to start a new opportunity and a new person record. We won't be going any further into the CRM as we do cover off all of the other details in other webinars. So to create a new person record or new people record, you simply click on new person up here in the top left hand corner. I've clicked on that button. As you can see, we now have a fresh record ready to be populated. Now that new person button will change depending on what you actually select down here. So if I now select the home loan, what we'll see is that says start new home loan. We can then click on new home loan and again, it will open up a clean opportunity ready for us to populate all the details. And the final thing to look at is the Mercury help desk. So if you do require assistance or you're having a problem in Mercury, the process to get some assistance is to click on the help up here in the top right hand corner of the screen. Once you click on that, it will open your own individual help desk. You can see I'm logged in as Joe. From here, what we highly recommend you do is click on this search button here and start typing in something to do with your issue. You can see as you type, it will actually start suggesting wiki pages for you. If you're looking for the loan calculators webinar, there it is there, calculators, connective compliance servicing calculator. So you can then click on the one that most closely suits what you require. If you can't find what you're looking for in the wiki, you will need to then submit a help desk ticket. Go back to the help desk. We go back to the help desk, click on this submit a request form. And then fill out this particular page. Have you checked the connective wiki? Yes or no. I need help with what is the Mercury type desktop or browser? Your preferred contact method. The subject, please keep the subject brief as this does have a character limit. So if you type out the entire problem here in the subject, uh, the connective, the Mercury Help Desk staff won't actually receive most of it. In the description box, please give us as much information as you possibly can on the nature of the issue you're having. Please give us an opportunity or application ID relating to the record that you're actually having a problem with. Mark the priority, attach any screenshots or files which may also assist us to more efficiently help you. Once you're done, click on submit. That will send a ticket through to the Mercury Help Desk. You'll receive acknowledgement of that particular, you'll receive acknowledgement of the ticket being received and you should hear back from a connective staff member usually within 20 to 30 minutes. That is obviously dependent upon load. If it is uh, high load, it may take a little bit longer, but we will prioritise those tickets which do require uh, looking at ASAP. And so there we have the introduction to Mercury webinar. Thank you for your attention.